All right, so this video is applications of systems of linear equations, and we get to use our TI-84 calculator to make the solving easier. So what we just have to do is set this up. And so you want to think of this as your matrix C. And so above is our X, our Y, and our Z. And these are the things we're looking for. So when you read the problem, it should tell you what the X and Y and Z are. So Nina's Nut Shop produces uh, almonds, cashews, and peanuts. So those are obviously the three, but we want to make sure. So it says how many pounds of each. So that right there tells you what it is. So X is the number of pounds of almonds. And just like any problem, you want to always define your variable. And Y is number of pounds of cashews. Remember, you want to put units in there. So you can even just say cashews and pounds of. That's fine as well. So if you want to be very short form, you could say cashews, pounds of. And then that way you remember what the units are. It's pounds. So when we get our X, we know it's pounds. So if they say 500, it's pounds and so on. So now our equations have to involve these X, Y, and Z. So it says how many pounds of each? Well, X is the number of pounds of almonds, right? And Y is the number of pounds, so that's answered. Should be used to produce 940 pounds. So the total pounds is 940. That means our X plus Y plus Z equals 940. Since we have three variables we need, three equations. So you notice there are three numbers given. Each one represents an equation. So the next one is the cost. Well, how much does it cost for almonds? Okay, so $5 for the almonds plus $4 for the cashews and five forty dollars for the pecans, which are the best here. Candied pecans are delicious. All right, and then that has a total cost of $4,300. All right, we need one more equation. And so it says the blend is 50% cashews. Cashews are good too. Um, so that means our cashews are 50% of what? Well, of the entire blend. And that's 940 pounds, right? So if it's 940 pounds total that's being split among the three, half of it is cashews. So that would make this 470. So now we can write that out. It's one 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 and then our final column is those numbers that we had so 940 and then 5 4 5.4 5 and 4300 and then our last one i don't know why i have a fourth one here it's hopeful that there was something fourth um our last one zero one zero four seventy and so now we just have to plug this in our calculator so I've got it all plugged in, second so quit, hit enter, and we get 295, 470, and 175. You can see I made a mistake by plugging it in. And the nice thing about mistakes is it's negative here. That's not possible. You can't owe nuts to a, a mixture. It's got to be all together. So 295, 470, and 170. Yeah, mistakes are normal. They, they happen, and they help us learn, so they're good. So this matrix C becomes 1000010. Zero, 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 one, zero. 0, 0, 1. So we know that's our x, y, and z. Uh, 295, 470, 175. So our x here is 295, our y is 470, and our z is 175. Looks like 1100. Let's get it. There we go, 175. So we would have 295 pounds of almonds. 470, which you already knew, pounds of cashews, and 175 pounds of, the last one is actually pecans. Pecans. You've probably been bugging you this entire time. Well, there we go. It's fixed. So there you go. So you just need to make your three equations, plug them in, and work that out. So let's try one more. So this is Mega Toys, produces uh, toys from three shops. Shop one requires that and that and that. Shop two requires that, 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 and that. And then shop three. So we go through the whole thing and you're really looking for what they're wanting us to find. So it says how many toys are made at each shop. So what that means is our X, Y, and Z is what we're looking for. So X is shop one, number of toys. Y is shop two, number of toys. And Z is shop three, number of toys. 
So how does this work over here? So what we have also now is employee wages. So wages go here, electrical costs go here, and materials go here. So if you look at it, they're for each one, for X, they're giving us the wages, electric costs, and materials. So what are the wages for X? So the wages for shop one is $25 per 100 toys, so 25. So we've got to come over here now and put 100 toys. Because our costs are $25 per 100 toys. So it would be 2,500 times X, that's 2,500 per 100. And then its electrical costs are what? $20. And its materials are 50. So for shop X, this is the cost that it's going to incur per, per 100 toys. And for shop two, we get $35 per 100, $10 per 100, and $40 per 100. And then shop three is 10, 20, and 100 for materials. And so the top is all wages. So Shop one has $25 per 100 toys and wages. Shop two is 35 and Z is the cheapest amount of wages, but they have the highest materials costs. And then also materials costs for X are pretty high. So we're gonna figure out which, which shop and how many toys they're making, right? Okay, so uh, total wages, that means this is the wages total is 1,600, 16,500, uh, 9,000 in electrical total card charges and 32,000. So always make sure that these make sense. So our wages, we're getting $25 per 100 toys from shop one, $35 per 100 toys from shop two, $10 per 100 toys for shop three. And that total amount in wages has to be 16,000. The total electrical cost has to be 9,000 and the total materials. This is a perfect equation. So now if we plug this in our calculator, hit enter, it'll spit out all of our answers. Okay, so I have it entered. Second quit. And then back to matrix, we're going to calculate letter B. Second matrix, and then we'll select A, hit enter. And we get this, so it's 200, 300, 100, 231. So X equals 200, and so that would be 200, we'll just write it out, 300, 100. But the thing is, is each of these is 100 toys. So this is 100 toys, 100 toys, and 100 toys. That's where we have to put the units on there. So this really becomes 200 zero, zero, and then two more. So 20,000 toys are being made by shop one. And 30,000 toys are being made by shop two. And then 10,000 toys from shop three. So there you go, how you solve them. Thank you.